first ever video. I'm Ashquash91. And I'm up here at Dolly Sods. This is the third day that this place has been open since the COVID-19 thing. They just opened the gates. Not as crowds as I thought it'd be. Today I'm doing the Fisher's Run Trail. Supposed to get up to 70 today, probably high 40s tonight, hammock camping. So, see how this goes. Got a little info here. Warning, live bombs. <coughs> Catch and release. Oh no. See, here's where we are right there. We're going to take this down to Red Creek and we're going to camp somewhere down there. It's only about a little over two miles, so it ain't going to be bad. Shouldn't knock on wood there. It's been here for a while. Because honestly, I but I was sitting there thinking, like, well, this is pretty dry. Then about three tenths of a mile in, it got wet. I mean, uh, I've been through parts of this place that is like quicksand you just can't get through it without getting muddy at all but this actually ain't bad so still haven't found any campsites yet I'm surprised now right now about half a mile in so jumped a deer that's pretty nice so yeah just keep on at it I don't know. This trail is called Fisher's Run. I don't know if one of these is Fisher's Run or if it, they both go into a bigger creek, but at 0.7 miles, I hit my first campsite finally. It's like a nice little site. Just there from last year. A couple of rocks or chairs. Well, I guess you could right there and right there. Put a hammock there. Definitely a good tent site. So, yeah. Just keep on at it. Well, I think I finally found Fisher's Run. That's right about halfway mark, or one mile mark. And it looks like if you cross there, over there is looks like a trail and possibly a campsite over there but yeah I'm not I don't really feel like getting wet with it being this cold out but it's not cold but not really hot it's just the weekend after Memorial Day so it's still pretty cold up here so, get back to it It was pretty flat until right now. Right there. It was flat and then it came sinuses trail this way. And now it's got me zigzagging straight down the hill. Good thing that sign was there because there was well, you would have thought the trail kept going because it's another trail, but there's a wire across it. And you probably would have kept going, probably to nowhere after a while. But who knows? It could have been a cool campsite back there. If I didn't go back there and look, I'm just going to go straight down the hill. 
really I haven't broken a sweat this whole hike yet and I'm about two miles in I mean that thing was gonna be a different story on the way back up especially this part but I'm pretty sure I'm close enough I can hear the creek it's just a sign of relief once I get down there I can start looking for a campsite it's probably about just 11 o'clock right now get down there get do some lunch some ramen noodles I brought and then set up camp I can do me some fishing loud means I'm about to cross the ground again and on the map it said once I cross this back again I should be pretty just right above the river at the bottom so yep, there it is it's flowing good too Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, there it looks like it might be a waterfall over there. Let's get down there and check that out. I don't know how to cross this without getting wet. Maybe down there. Look up here. figure this one out because I really don't want to get wet today. Something else. It's coming right out of the rocks. That's cool. A real pool down there. I guess I must camp here, I guess. No, I guess you can put a... It's just a cool little spot.
question. The question is, is this even the trail or was I supposed to turn right over to the side? I think I was. Anyway, I'll get back across and find out. That was an ordeal. Finally near side of it. I made it right there. The trail goes through there somewhere. I kept going. I had no problem, but it's so brushy through there, I couldn't even see, see the trail. But, oh man, that looks refreshing right now. I finally broke a sweat. So, but 15 minutes of bushwhacking through there. I went up and over and around. So, finally found the trail. So, An hour and 13 minutes, which I've just been taking my time. So, yeah, shouldn't be that much longer at all. Probably about 20 minutes or so, maybe even less. I'm gonna hit the river. Misjudge my time by the map because three minutes later, I found Red Creek down there. So I just gotta get down there at the end of this trail and I'm gonna find me a campsite set up for the day. Man, I can already see campsites all along the river. I guess I could just go straight down, but yeah, it's a little bit like cheating. Oh god! on that tree get down there find a nice little spot put my hammock up and get the day going walk over here take a peek at it fishing today. The bad thing about the site is it's right on the trail but you know what it's big I got plenty of place to put my hammock I can get some firewood around here so yeah let's make it home I'm gonna get to go because I'm so close to it. <clears throat> I'm gonna look for the famous lion's head here at Dolly Sods. But the only bad thing about that is I gotta get my feet wet. This is gonna suck. Here is the crossing. At least it ain't deep. Oh boy. Don't fall. Oh, oh, slippery. Whose crazy idea was this? Ooh. 
Oop, and there's the pants getting wet. That was a bad idea. I'm soaked now. It's kind of windy. Shoes are wet. It's about to be canceled and dry out. After being soaked earlier, sat around, laid and decided to put my wet shoes on. And I did make it up the line's head. I got pictures. I didn't take the camera. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty windy. Pretty hard to get to. I just got back. It's 20 till 6. Sit here and chill a little bit. Make some dinner. And make a fire and chill out. Because I didn't bring an extra battery, but yeah, it was a fun trip, whatever, one night. But sitting here, me and my buddies editing that. So, any random comments on there is gonna be off my buddy, but he'll be in my future videos. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.